back again back to back knee backs back to oh you dirty you low and you schemy i don't like that shining stars it's your girl jessica renee and i'm back with another shining video duh like what did y'all think was gonna happen it's vlogmas and we're posting every single day until christmas okay christmas did y'all hear that christmas we're almost there we're almost we're actually almost there <laughs> really now that i think about it but yeah you guys today we're gonna be doing an access as you can tell by the title um if you're new here and you don't know how this goes i always hit my best friend up ask her to find me some crazy scenarios and boy do they be crazy and i just um respond to them like what would i do you know what i'm saying like in those situations they be crazy they be catching me off guard but they're actually cool so without further ado we're just gonna jump right into this video and y'all i told her to give me some like christmas kind of scenarios that's all i really know about it i don't know where she's going with this but we're about to see so yeah we're jumping right into the first scenario with the holidays coming up i decided that it was a good idea to get my shopping done early so by thanksgiving i was completely done with all my christmas shopping i didn't leave anyone out i even got my doorman a present you got a doorman girl as always, there's always something messy happening at my family dinners, but this time I was involved by default. My sister and cousin was going at it, and as I normally do, I tried to calm the situation down and tell them it wasn't worth it and that we are family. Only for my cousin to yell out, how are y'all family when your sister is messing with your ex? Huh? My mouth is currently on my mom's living room floor. I was devastated, not only for obvious reasons, but because everyone knew besides me. I returned every single gift and donated the ones I couldn't, even the gifts for the kids. What would you have done, or am I being petty? Girl, to be honest, I would have kept them all for myself. Like, the kids, honestly, I would have given the kids the gifts because, like, they're kids. They don't really know what's going on. They don't have, like... A role in that that's adult drama so I would have definitely gave the kids their gifts but as for the parents my whole entire family I literally would have been keeping the gifts and the ones that I didn't I would have did the same thing kept what I wanted and gave away what I didn't like period no if ands or buts that is so messy and your whole family is messy you're right to be mad at all of them because that is some weirdo stuff and your sister mm -mm, girl leave them alone leave them alone next year don't buy nobody nothing that's what i would do <laughs> okay the next scenario last year was my first time hosting christmas in my new home it was newly renovated but there was still some light patch work that needed to be done but i ignored that only because i was only expecting my close immediate family an hour later my mom calls me to ask if she can invite some of our extended family members three of my elder aunts so i agreed only to discover that they brought along their daughters who i cut off a long time ago i respectfully told them they were not invited in my home but their mothers were not were more than welcome to stay. They began to curse me out and try to fight me on Christmas. I then kicked everybody out, including my mother, because I specifically said immediate family only. My siblings think I was wrong for throwing my mom out. And it is it is kind of drastic. This is my new home. I just didn't want any drama anymore. What would you have done differently? P.S. Me and my mom made up shortly after. I wouldn't have done anything differently nothing because why i told you i didn't want extra people in my house and then you brought not only a plus three but then the plus three invited more that is a clean clear way to piss me off don't do that don't do that even if it's not my house and i make some plans and you invite in a plus one and the plus one inviting a plus one i'm going to get pissed off <laughs> yeah i was eating candy do not mind my tongue that is so crazy but yeah okay moving on 
Everyone in my family knows that Christmas is very special to me, so I go gift crazy. I even get the pets gifts. Recently, I got into a minor conflict with one of my cousins. When I say minor, I mean something as simple as being late to an event. It wasn't even her event. Yes, I'm the late one out of my family, and I should take people's time into consideration, but that's something I have to work on, and it doesn't make anyone look bad besides me. She ignored me the whole event, left without telling me, and well, if that was the case, she could have just attended the event alone and told me don't come. We haven't spoken for weeks, which was not normal for us, and the next event to be had, a small gathering we have amongst cousins and our kids. We exchange gifts to be open on Christmas Day. Can you believe this girl didn't buy my child a gift? I bought all three of her kids a gift as well as her. I understand not buying me a gift, but my child, a three-year-old, I knocked over the Christmas tree and left with her gift. I let the kids keep their gifts only because I will never stoop to her level and involve kids. I will not be attending Christmas dinner unless she's not coming and my family just doesn't respect my decision. So I block them all and me and my baby will be having a quiet, cozy Christmas at home. Please just tell me if I'm wrong. No, girl, you're not wrong. <laughs> I, okay, in the beginning, girl, I was giving you like a bombastic side eye because I'm like, you're late, but like, still, even if I don't think the way she reacted from the beginning was like, I would have just calmly told my cousin, like, girl, you gotta stop being late, like, it's not cute no more, like, tighten up. Like, I would have told her, and I would have probably been a little mad but then i would have got over it because we're out we're at an event we could have fun but as far as not bringing the kid anything i just that's a whole new level and i sh i would never forgive her because don't do that to my kid any kid but don't do it to mine especially i respect and honor the quiet cozy christmas at home that's just me though because to me your family picking sides because wrong is wrong and that's just me it's true to you hello Okay, this is the last scenario. Hey Jess, every year my office does a company potluck and we do a $50 budget for Secret Santa. I personally keep it simple. I would get a fire stick, candles, gift cards, things like that. I've been with the company for almost four years and I always get gift cards or a generic goodie basket. Very typical. I mean, what can you really do with $50? An older lady that works there never participates and I decided we all should get together and do something nice for her. But one of my colleagues disagreed and she was going really hard about it. I was so confused and disappointed my other colleague decided to step up and say something and it turned into a huge squabble in the break room which resulted in both of them being suspended and everyone writing statements. My other colleagues and I decided to continue with doing something for our older colleague. With doing so, my company deemed that we were bullying the person who disagreed and all of our Christmas bonuses were taken away and not the woman who started the argument. Only to later find out what she, that she was sleeping with the manager. What would you have done or what would your reaction be? P.S. This was last year and we have since been rewarded our Christmas bonuses from last year and this year. Happy Holidays. I would go on my social media platform and expose them, all of them, because y'all are so weird to an old lady during Christmas time just to find out you was messing with the manager. Oh, you dirty, you low, you schemy. I don't like that. To be honest, I definitely would have went above the manager's head and told somebody and bring it to an attention even after I got my bonus because it's like, if y'all did that to me, what else can y'all do to me and just get away with it? No. We're not letting anybody get away with anything. We're huh, making people stand on business, okay? I like the little holiday edition anxious I will I'm gonna try to do another one before the vlogmas series is over but thank you guys so much for clicking to watch this video I hope you guys like comment and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video because it's vlogmas and we're posting every single day until Christmas duh bye